For Colorado Springs Utilities, we have plenty of capacity to serve our customers. The way that we went about determining how we deployed demand response was through a circuit analysis that we did in 2009. And through that analysis, what we found was that there are certain circuits in our service territory that are overloading or close to overloading. And so once we had that analysis complete, we looked at the specific circuits and did a demographics analysis and realized that the majority of those circuits were primarily residential. And so we used this program in 2013 and 2014 to deploy thermostats throughout the circuits that were overloading. Our utility offers several demand side management programs and one of those is the EcoSaver program. And that involves us installing a low control thermostat in our customer homes where we are able to adjust the thermostat by up to four degrees so that during peak time we shave that peak. We marketed to approximately 4,000 customers on circuits that were exceeding design capacity and of those 4,000 we received about a 10% response rate. So through our circuit analysis, um, the deployment this year, we needed approximately 171 kW on the circuit uh, that we deployed our thermostats on to defer capital until 2020. And we actually got about 250 kW with the, the 640 customers that we deployed. One of the things this program forced us to do was to really go through the candidate list of customers that we would want to market the program to. And we were pretty aggressive at going through and looking at customer by customer saying, does this customer's load pattern indicate that they have air conditioning and that they actually use it? Uh, so we actually did have some feedback in one of our customer uh, input sessions to our electric integrated resource plan uh, where someone asked, say, they asked, uh, you know, you must not have advertised that program very heavily because I haven't heard about it. And I explained to them, well, if you weren't on the four specific circuits that we were trying to target and we couldn't tell that you actually used your air conditioning, you probably didn't hear from us. Uh, so this program has really helped us, I think, to identify customer use patterns a little bit better. And that's a skill that we may take on to other programs as we continue to improve our demand side management and renewable offerings. The process to be involved in this program is the customer had to contact us. They had to sign up for the program. They had to have central air conditioning. And then once we scheduled the appointment, we installed the thermostat. And once they participated, in their first event, they received a $25 participation incentive. We selected Landis and Gear as our technology because we have a strong AMI network already deployed. And so we wanted to leverage our network to add other devices such as thermostats, load control switches, and eventually some distribution automation equipment. One of the advantages to this thermostat is there is a mobile application available. And the customer just logs in to the program and they can adjust their thermostat up or down. Let's say they're going to be home in a half an hour and they want their home warmer, you know, before they get there, they adjust it, program it, it's done. When they get home, it's the temperature they requested. As part of this demand response program, we've integrated the EcoSaver into our My Usage, where customers can look at their daily usage and compare that to what their air conditioner unit is using in our mobile app for the program. Long term, we would like to pair up the air conditioner usage with their whole house usage so that they can see that on their mobile device as well. Currently, our program is just focused on the air conditioning but in the future we hope to be able to control water heaters and electric furnaces in the winter. I think the customers for the most part um, you know are wanting to help the utility conserve resources and so the majority of our customers who participate one they either participate for the $25 incentive or two they like the ability that they can opt out when they want to. And so the, what we found is um, offering an additional incentive to customers really doesn't keep them in the program. If we make our, our events short and we make the setback small, the majority of them stay in the program throughout the conservation event and we don't have to pay them anything extra to do that.